Hey guys, it's Jeff and just after Apple's live event where we saw some really new exciting products that Apple released, they also released the GM version of iOS 12 to all developers. So let's check out this version of iOS 12 and see what the final build will look like, which will be coming to us next Monday, September 17th. Okay, so the GM version typically doesn't bring any major changes. Just all of those icons referring to new products may be more present in this version. Generally speaking though, past that we really aren't expecting anything new to be changed or anything new to be added to this version of iOS, just some slight performance modifications. Now, as far as any new features or changes go, I haven't seen any and that's really to be expected at this point because Apple really isn't going to just throw in untested features or make major changes to a GM version. What is super exciting to see is the performance numbers because these will be the final performance numbers for iOS 12. So with that being said, let's check out some of our scores from Geekbench. On the CPU, we scored a 4,470 on the single core side of things, and for the multi-core, a 10,457, which is really a good score for the iPhone 10. Now, moving on to the GPU side of things, and we saw a whopping 15,780 for the compute score, and in my own testing, that is the highest I've ever been able to achieve. Now, moving on to actual use, and as I've said throughout the iOS 12 betas, iOS 12 brings a more snappy and smooth performing UI. And this doesn't mean just for the iPhone 10. this means for all devices. My iPhone 10 does feel noticeably different, and even on the iPhone 5S, the oldest device to support iOS 12, you can see a big difference. Battery life surprisingly has not been affected with iOS 12, and that is just another benefit of updating because almost all past versions of iOS has brought some sort of hit to battery life. Now that we are running iOS 12, we are actually seeing the opposite. Performance is up, battery life is up, and that is thanks to Apple making system processes much more efficient for each device. So guys, that's the rundown on the iOS 12 GM version or the golden master version, the final version of iOS 12 betas before the official release. Everything really does feel like it is a final build quality and it's so nice to see these awesome performance numbers for what we will be seeing in the official version of iOS 12. Now, I really can't wait to see iOS 12 running on the XS Max, where we will see that new A12 Bionic processor, making iOS 12 basically the fastest UI experience we can get. So if you have any comments or questions on this topic, please write those down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Oh, and one more thing, in case you didn't pick up on what I was saying earlier, iOS 12 will be available on the 17th, this coming Monday of September, and I will have a video on that pretty soon. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Make sure to get subscribed for some more upcoming content, and we'll catch you in the next video.